Howdy and welcome back. Uh, it's another fascinating Friday night in January. Uh, second Friday of January, 2024, uh, Friday the 12th. We have made it to the small Lincolnshire town of Gainsborough, uh, which is a stone's throw from the Nottinghamshire border, uh, just from Retford. So we've done a little bit of this area before, but never the actual town of Gainsborough. Uh, doesn't look to be a hell of a lot here, so we should manage to get it all done easily in one night. Uh, and we're starting on the outskirts of the place with a, which is called the Lincolnshire Otter. And uh, this uh, is a Marston's. So I should imagine it'll be reasonably straightforward. We know what we're getting. Easy enough to go with. Pub number one for Gainsborough, Lincolnshire Otter. Yeah, it's a Marston's pub. It's exactly what you'd expect. It's clean, it's tidy. Um, it, there's there's eat at diners, uh, dining quite now. It's, uh, it's a nice, smart establishment. Um, can't go wrong with it, it's a Marston's. We've got all those pizza ovens and stuff down there. Uh, got a few hand pulls on. And it's a, it's a nice looking modern purpose built pub. Uh, it's really out in the middle of nowhere though. So um, yeah, it's not the sort of place that probably attracts an awful lot of drinkers. But yeah, decent enough start on the outskirts. On we go. Okay, after a little, uh, little jaunt around uh, further up through a couple of housing estates and stuff like that, uh, we've been brought to, uh, uh, which looks like this, up on the outskirts. So we're gonna make this stop too, Hilltop Social Club. It's a, it's a friendly little social club, to be honest. A uh, big room that's got bingo going on the, uh, in the back. Darts, some pool, nice, clean, tidy little club. Uh, all friendly. Uh, apparently, member, you do normally have to get to line in. We told them what we were doing, and they were absolutely cool with it. Um, shell behind a bar, lovely. Um, yeah, nice, friendly little club. Glad we included it. Right, so we have come slightly out of Gainsborough uh, to, a, I assume, a little village on the outskirts called Morton. Um, it, it literally was, we, we'd just come into Morton from Gainsborough, so it's not, it's not really out of the way. Someone suggested that we do this one, we were going to do it anyway because it was on the list, thought it was in Gainsborough, it pretty much is. Uh, and it, the Ship Inn, and it looks uh, a lovely old pub, that's what it looks, so uh, this is stop three, Ship Inn. This is a, this is a beautiful little locals pub, um, they do a, uh, what's there? Yeah, have a look at this, look. Little, like, little fish and chip Friday menu. It's always nice to have some fish and chips in a pub. It's a, it's a beautiful sort of pub. Uh, it's got a few hand pulls, uh, three I think, on the other side of the bar. Um, busy, out around, out around that side. It's very nice. It's uh, got a lovely feel to it. It's lovely and clean, vibrant, and it's nice. It's so busy on Friday. Yeah, we've had to come and sort of sit out in a in a far room. It's so busy, but yeah, it's good. Right, we're still playing the uh, the outskirts of Gainsborough game. Uh, at the moment and this one shows up on Google Maps as being a bar. Uh, it's called The Venue uh, at Roses, uh, Trinity Roses I assume, um, or something uh, to that. It looks, like a, it looks like a sports and social club to be honest, so we're going to include it. The Venue at Roses will be stop numero four. Yeah, sports and social club type thing. Um, this room obviously is probably available to hire. Um, it's a marquee type room, um, DJ box and stuff. Uh, big screen for the football uh, and things like that. New staff, but friendly enough, um, welcome. There's football going on one of the pitches and stuff outside. Um, so it's obviously that kind of that kind of place where you go and you come for your game of five aside, then you uh, you come for a beer afterwards. What more could you want, really? But yeah, it's um, it's, it's another tricky one to find down in like an industrial area, down on the industrial estate, and then right at the bottom of that. But um, yeah, now we come up and uh, especially the uh, rest of the bar. Right, we are finally sort of down now at what I, I think looks like it's the top of the town uh, sort of area where we can carry on walking down. There's four or five in the centre, uh, but this just here called Elm Cottage. This is like a, a nice old establishment uh, and you know how much I love a, a good old pub. So Elm Cottage is stop number five on a Gainsborough trip. Yeah, decent local style bar, nice um, central bar, TVs and stuff around. Um, and a nice fire game behind me, always nice on a cold winter's night. Wandering about a minute around uh, towards the Townsville, we'll bring you to Gainsborough Trinity, which is the football club. Um, the, uh, the bar is called the Blues Club. Uh, it's not a blues club, it's a, it's a normal football club uh, bar. But it counts as part of the, the drinking scene around here apparently, so the Blues Club is going to be mixed. Uh, typical standard football club bar to be honest. Uh, we're in the lab, which is uh, pretty much as you'd expect. Uh, then you've got a, you've got another room to the back, uh, which has got pool table stuff in, and you've got a function suite, uh, which is where the loud music you can hear is coming from. 
um, which does I might be hosting a funeral or something, but there's definitely a lot of people uh, might be kicking off or whatever. Um, alcohol funerals don't tend to mix overly well, do they? Um, yeah, it is what it is. It's a football club bar, um, and a decent football club bar. It's an interesting vibe in that football club. That uh, the big room is, is absolutely packed out, and they're absolutely steaming all the people in there. Uh, so it must have been funeral or something like that. But yeah, they're all steaming. They're all getting shouty and kicking off at each other. Um, it doesn't feel like a particularly nice environment. Um, but you know, we've wandered down further now uh, towards the town. Two minute walk down brings us to the horse and jockey, uh, which is a big. Pub, you hear some uh, hear some noise and some music and stuff going on. So we're pretty much at the top of the uh, the t uh, yeah top of the town area now. Uh, I'm moving down from there. And it's definitely more of a party atmosphere in here. There's karaoke and stuff going on. It's an old pub. Uh, it's got rooms and stuff upstairs and things as well. Um, no hand pulls and stuff on the bar. The party, uh, the, the the disco room is sort of through that through that bit up there. Um, uh, nice enough. Uh, definitely definitely an old style pub. Nice. We found a nightclub, the State Club. Experience a new level of nightlife. Closed. Closed. It's definitely a new one on me. Right, six minute walk. Uh, that's what Google said. I think we've done quicker than that. But brings you, it's, we're on a retail park. <sighs> yeah. Again, which to me feels a real weird sort of place to put a beautiful looking from the outside. This is obviously in our warehouse space, isn't it? Caldero Lounge, uh, cafe bar. So these are, this is obviously part of the lounge brand. We've done loads of these so far. We know exactly what we're getting. They're always all right. They're always friendly. They're always nice. It is what it is. Caldero Lounge is stop seven, I want to say, of our of our trip so far today in games. This one's in a gorgeous, it li literally it's a gorgeous old warehouse build. Um, still got the old quirky lamp shades that you'd expect to find uh, and everything else. But yeah, so they, uh, and they'll paint in, you know. But yeah, this is a this is this is a beautiful building. Um, they're a good brand. We we like them, as you know. No problem. Caldera Lounge is good. Yeah, just a, it's a, it's a weird place to be in on a on a on an industrial estate again. It's weird. It's a seven minute walk in the other direction, uh, but we're back now at the other side of where we were. Caldera Lounge is lovely. Uh, that warehouse is superb. It's taken us to get to Clock House, a gastro bar, a good gastro bar. I wish that we were eating, but I'm actually. Uh, I'm looking forward to my kebab in games, but there seems to be a lot of kebab shops and stuff around, so I'm quite looking forward to that. But yeah, Clockhouse Gastro Bar up next. Uh, beautiful looking gastro pub. Um, it's got some dry aged meat in the uh, in the fridge up there, which looks absolutely mint. But yeah, very beautiful looking establishment. It is coming up to 10 o'clock on uh, Friday in January, so you can't really uh, can't really begrudge places being quiet. So we've got the uh, then we head down and there's four in the town today. So five left to go. This is actually number nine. My counting was off again, like it normally is. So yeah, uh, lovely place though, friendly staff. The meat looks amazing, which we're eating. So we, we found the main part of the town. Um, the White Horse Craft Union, uh, just there. The Weather Spoons and the Canute, which apparently is up until 2 a.m. Eight Jolly Brewers, uh, according to Google, was open, but it's very much, looks very much closed down, sadly. Um, so I think we've got three left to this. So which is gonna be the White Horse? Uh, yeah, but yeah, it's a very, it's very quiet, very, very quiet. Classic craft union, three wickets and six quid. You know, I love a bit of that. Yeah. It goes down the, uh, it's a long and narrow one. You can watch the, uh, watch the sport and stuff. No food, no frills. Pool table normally, DJ out, beer garden, craft union pub on it. Friendly, good deals, loving it. Google reckons that that white horse shuts at, uh, shuts at 11, but it definitely doesn't. It actually feels like that might be the latest pub going. Bit of a dance floor, a bit of rocky music and stuff in there, to be honest. Um, it's quite good fun. I would have probably done that last had Google been updated and let us know what time it shuts. But we got to it because it said it shut at 11, so we did that first. So opposite that is, um, I was gonna say, is the Swe Sweven, I can't say, Swain, Sweven, Swain, Forkbeard. The weather spoons, uh, big one. Our penultimate stop for the evening. Uh, and then we've got the, again, I'm gonna say the Canute, maybe, uh, which is also until midnight, apparently. Google runs too, though. Who knows? Who knows of these opening hours anymore? I wish places would update their opening hours. I asked for clarification, though. So it's actually said the Swain Fork Beard. You got that right, the Swain Fork Beard. I don't even know um, anymore uh, what, some of the names of these weather spoons, or just pubs in general. Yeah, the Swain Forkbeard is how you say. So it's a, it's a, it's nice. Uh, it's a, a carpet, yeah. That's a carpet and a half, uh, isn't it? But 
yeah, it's a decent, uh, a decent size. So it's not very busy again. It does feel a little bit like a ghost town um, down here. I know, I know it's the second week of January. I know people are skin and all that, but if you don't get out and support your local pubs, then you're not going to have your local pubs. That's the problem. So get out there and support them like we are. I do it for the love, you know, love of the pub. Uh, it's very subdued. I say it is the it is the second weekend of January, isn't it? So you can't really expect things to be busy uh, at this time of year. It is what it is. So this is the final stop of the night. Then it is called the Canute Freehouse Sky Sports. Going on uh, again. Doesn't look busy, but I say it is. It's the time of year, and it? it is nature of the beast. It's a shame, but yeah, Gainsborough, Gainsborough's alright, we've not, we've not uh, encountered any issues, Gainsborough's been nice and friendly, there's, there's enough here to have a decent night out and stuff, um, do this one and we'll sum up, plus I hope we can find a kebab shop. Uh, big, big stone gate pub this, uh, stretches, stretches miles down, like it's a massive great, yeah, massive great stone gate pub, uh, nicely decked out. But yeah, this, uh, this part of January, is, they stay up until 2 a.m. normally. Um, so like I said, we were very lucky that the, uh, the kitchen manager was a nice fellow and sort of let us in, sorted us out uh, a drink and stuff for staying in. But yeah, I, it baffles me why pubs shut so far beyond their, beyond their, their hours so far early. But apparently uh, the area manager for this one reckons they should cancel their DJ in January and, and shut early. I've known I've known many an area manager over my days and that sounds like the area manager has either given up or doesn't know what he's doing. So a real shame. Um yeah. Final pub of the night then, uh Canute. Nice one, would have been nice to catch it busy, but it is what it is. Thanks for watching guys. Um that was Gainsborough. But uh we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're in uh tomorrow we're off to Congleton. So uh, yeah. Cheers guys.